these tropical waves coming off the, the, the African coast, um, there's a lot of them. In fact, there could be up to 10 in a month, and they're responsible for most of the tropical activity this time of the year. If you got a minute this morning, let's talk about what these tropical waves actually are and, and how they develop. So, they develop in Africa. We'll start there. Uh, but the reason they form is actually very interesting. The Hurricane Center has a pretty technical definition for what they are there. So we'll kind of skip over that. And let's take you right to the Saharan Desert. So it's hot, right? In the desert, especially this time of year, there's a subtropical ridge of high pressure and you have that clockwise flow around the center of high pressure. So that's pushing air to the south, south towards the cooler and more humid conditions coming off of the forest there in southern Africa. So those two conflicting air masses actually create this temperature contrast and the temperature contrast creates this African easterly jet stream in the low and mid levels of the atmosphere. And that jet stream moves across the African continent and within that jet you get these little perturbations or these little disruptions in the flow and that's where you get thunderstorm activity developing this where you get a little bit of spin in the atmosphere and as these clusters of thunderstorms then travel along from that easterly jet they push out over the Atlantic Ocean and that's where we get these waves and those waves can move across the ocean they get pushed along by the Bermuda High and eventually you get those tropical storms and hurricanes coming from those waves off the coast of Africa.